Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name is Ken. Today's experiment is making plastic milk. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a 2% milk, white vinegar, a strainer, microwave, measuring cups, a bowl, and wax paper. Start off by pouring uh, one cup of 2% milk. You could also use whole milk. Um, you just want, uh, you don't want to use fat free or something like that. You want something with a lot of fat in it. And then four teaspoons of uh, white vinegar. Um, it's about 19.72 uh, milliliters. And then once we get that there, we're going to um, put that in the microwave for one minute. As always, uh, adult supervision, um, as you pull it out of the microwave, remember it's going to be very hot. So um, be very careful with that and have an adult help you with this. And there we go. We set it for a minute. And then when it comes out, uh, we will come back. And it is uh, done. And now we're pulling it out, being very careful because it's hot. And what we're going to do is pour it into a strainer that goes into another bowl. And so um, we, by doing that, um, we're able to separate the curds and whey. So the science behind it and some of the information is, is there plastic in milk? Well, sort of, because the made substance called casein is uh, from the Latin word meaning cheese. Casein occurs when the protein in the milk meets the acid of the vinegar. The casein in the milk does not mix with the acid, so it forms blobs. So the milk, when the milk is cooking, it begins to make tiny lumps called curds in a clear liquid called whey. Is little Miss Muffet rhyme um, uh, starting to sound a little familiar right now? The curds that will form a blob at the bottom of the clear liquid, the blob is actually fat minerals and protein called casein from the milk protein. True plastics called polymers are a little bit different. Milk contains many molecules and proteins called caseins. Many of these casein molecules chained together are polymers. The polymers can be scooped up and molded, which is why plastics are made from milk are called caseins. So now you wash the blob with water and knead it until it gets that right consistency of dough. And then this is your chance to show your artistic skills. You can mold the plastic into any shape you wish and then place it on wax paper and let it dry overnight to harden. The combination of the heat and vinegar with the acid in there causes the casein from the milk to clump together and come out of the solution. Casein is an ingredient used for making plastic, which is why the blob resembles plastic. This casein plastic hardens when its curds dry out. Don't underestimate the importance of what you just did. Casein plastics were commonly used to make glue, paints, and papers. Here are some interesting facts. The fact is casein plastic was the first uh, plastics ever made. First plastic developed in 1862. Casein was also used in uh, New England to make glues, pens, knife handles, and buttons. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up or to share. And thanks for watching.